Hello, welcome to another uh, episode of Base Ideas. Uh, today I'll be showcasing off two base designs. Um, it's more like uh, for fun kind of thing rather than actual practical use. Uh, both these bases uh, idea came from Rust Academy. Uh, I know some of you may say that uh, some of you say that uh, Rust Academy is uh, staging most of their raids. Uh, I still enjoy watching it anyway. Um, this uh, this design and uh, the second base design also uh, th came from a recent raid that they they conducted, and it's basically a pyramid base. So this one has four entrances. Uh, the inner design is really up to you how you want to do, but it starts off as a five. It, it's a five by five square base. If you want to get all four entrances, so inside, okay, these are the four main doors. Uh, everything is sectioned off by garage doors. Uh, each space here has its own use like in this side if you crouch you can go all the way to the back here as well so there's six furnaces in this base right three here three there and then you have uh, not in not essential loot can go here okay this uh, I'm sure some of you can fit boxes better than I do so this is just a rough idea Okay, you can have some there. The benches, I know you can pick them up now. So you can put other things there if you want to. But I just leave it as such. Right? Just an example for you to see. Okay, more. Oh, this is the furnace side. Box side. And then... Ta-da! <laughs> I know. I know you shouldn't put TC here. People might just blow through, but... Usually, if people see a door path, they'll take the door path first, and they, I don't, and they'll assume that TC is in one of the holes. So you can just choose one of the four corners to hide your TC inside. And you might be one, you're saying that, hey, what about this base looks so open? You know, like where do you keep all your good stuff? You know, is there even space for good stuff? Well, the answer is yes. So we come up here, which has another garage door, okay, and then, ta-da, you can fit, for you to walk comfortably and not want to kill yourself, you, this is the maximum uh, vending machines you can put. You put anything more than this and you're going to have a really bad day. So these things cannot be seen from the outside, they can be heard of course, but they cannot be seen from the outside. Right, so you have a lot of storage space for all your good stuff. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It's a 5x5, five five, 4 entrances. Of course, knowing me, like each door will definitely be guarded by shotgun traps. So at least 2 per door, so that's 8 shotgun traps. So yes, going through the door path is the cheapest. It's just a 2C4 to go through the doors. Okay? But the moment they come in, they get boomed. So for early game, this base is usable. It's quite fun. Uh, building it is a pain in the ass, but once you get it right, it's everything is fine. Uh, as for the upkeep, I need to find that plugin, but anyway. Uh, for the upkeep, it's 2,000, 3,000 metal frags. 300 stone okay so that's not too hard to make for maintaining of course if you end up going for uh, like all HUM then it'll be a bit more expensive uh. so yeah it's just it's just a, just a 2c4 rate okay so the other one is over here it's a similar design but it is 5 by 6 instead it's a slightly longer base okay so two entrances front and back instead of uh, four it's just two entrances of course the other one you can also go for four for two entrances or single entrance up to you for more storage space right uh, this one go this one looks like this 
Uh, this one is uh, fully drawn. <laughs> We're including the shotgun traps. Okay, so coming up from the top, if raiders were to come in here, they blow through the door, they'll get greeted by three shotgun traps. Okay, uh, next coming in, furnace is here. Usually people see furnace and they just they'll just check the furnace and then they'll go. But behind the furnace is TC, which I placed wrongly and it's facing inward, so you can't lock TC. <laughs> My mistake. And then in this base, uh, there's only two vending machines because it has its own storage space. So you have your standard benches, right? Coffins. Of course, here you can nick it into a shelf so you can have more. You can have either four large boxes or more or five coffins. You know, it's. I made a mistake. <laughs> So, not really a mistake, like you can say it's intentional, but yeah, it was originally supposed to be a shelf, but so you have these, and then of course every drop down is a shotgun trap, so people, if they do come deep, they still have to go through that. So side spaces, not wasted uh, as well, uh, you can store stuff here, put your furnaces here as well. Okay, it's a bit hard to jump in the beginning and I screw that up, but yeah, this is how you, you can put non-essential loot here. Okay, your non-essential loot can go here. Essential loot can go up into the vending machines. Okay, so yeah, furnace here. So you can put more, right? As long as you can crouch at the corner here and move past, you're fine. Okay, but generally I think just three is good enough if you're a solo duo trio. So yeah, this is uh, how the base looks like. Of course, you can always convert one of these spaces in self storage to become a spawn room instead. Alright, that's uh, really up to you. I wonder if I could put sleeping bags up here. I'm not sure. Oh, well, let's see. Uh. Answer is yeah, you can put some here as well. So this can be your spawning zones. Just put a bag, put a box, so you can put your kit in it, and you're set. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these two base designs. If you do, just uh, uh just drop a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, uh, subscribe as well, and you can hit the notification bell. Um, I don't upload very frequently because I don't have so much time. Uh, yeah, so if you guys like these two designs, let me know if you'd like to see more and I try to uh, update a little bit more. So this is just a private server that I have on my own. Uh, my router doesn't allow me to open up the server. So... That's all for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.